Where's he going? Saudi Arabia. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> please take. Please take Kai Havertz from us. He ain't going Give nowhere. Give us one million pounds, brother. Please. Well, well, well. How the turntables... In the summer of 2023, Arsenal signed Kai Havertz from beta rivals Chelsea for a fee of 75 million euros, a signing a lot of people doubted. Arsenal fans, the general football media, even the gospel of football himself, me. Subscribe, by the way. But this season, Kai Havertz has come up with big goals. He's been an important player in Arsenal's push for a Premier League title. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing how Kai Havertz has proved everyone wrong. In 2020, Kai Havertz was one of the most talked about German talents in world football, coming off a Bundesliga season of scoring 12 goals and 6 assists with Bayer Leverkusen. The hype would grow even more when he signed for Chelsea for a massive fee of 80 million euros. His first season at Chelsea was decent, 9 goals and 6 assists, but you factor in 3 of those goals came in the Carabao Cup versus Barnsley. It's not great. Oh yeah, and he also scored the winning goal in the Champions League final. His second season at Chelsea, better, 14 goals, 5 assists, the winning goal in the Club World Cup final. And then his third and final season at Chelsea, 9 goals, 1 assist, predominantly playing as a striker. Isn't particularly amazing. Well, I don't think he lived up to the 80 million euro price tag. I don't think his performances or time at Chelsea was as bad as Chelsea fans may make out. They won two trophies in his time at the club. He directly scored the winning goals in both finals to win those trophies. Although I will admit his performances in his last season with Chelsea were very poor and very frustrating to watch. So coming off a bad season with Chelsea, they somehow managed to sell him to Arsenal for 65 million euros. A lot of people were surprised. A lot of people said Chelsea had scammed Arsenal. And I'll admit personally, I didn't really understand the transfer, especially for the price tag. I understood there was a player there, he showed that at Bar Leverkusen, but he didn't really have much success in the Premier League and he was coming off a bad season. So how has Kai Havertz's first season in Arsenal gone? Will he live up to everyone's expectations and become a massive flop, or will he surprise everyone? And I think it's fair enough to say he has surprised everyone. 12 goals, 5 assists in all competitions, including match winners versus Brentford, Luton, Brentford again, 2 goals and a 5-0 battering of Chelsea. In the Premier League this season, he's averaged a goal involvement every 142 minutes. At Chelsea, he was called wasteful, unclinical, but this season it's been quite the opposite because he has the best shot conversion rate at Arsenal joint with Trossard on 19%, only one less than Erling Haaland. Since the end of February, Kai Havertz has scored 7 goals and got 4 assists, all while playing as a striker. For the majority of the season before that, he was playing as an attacking midfielder. There's all this talk about Arsenal needing a big money striker in the summer, but do they? Because in the last couple of weeks and months when Kai Havertz has played as a striker, he has mostly delivered. In the few occasions I am wrong when it comes to football, I am humble enough to admit it, and I will admit it this time. I was wrong about Kai Havertz. I didn't think the signing would be so successful. Now I don't think he's lived up to the 65 million price tag just yet, obviously no player in the world can do that in just one year, unless he scores 40 goals and wins them the quadruple. But I do think Kai Havertz will continue to do well for Arsenal and he will be the solution to their striker problems. I don't think Arsenal have to spend big in the summer because I think Kai Havertz is that solution. I think he is going to continue to score goals and I think we're finally going to see Kai Havertz live up to the potential he had at Bayer Leverkusen. But let me know what you think in the comments. Is it just a good couple of weeks and will he go back to his old self? Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.